Build Show friends, it is that time of month again. That's right, new products and new tools. This looks like a landing gear from a Boeing 737, but in fact, this is part of the new tools that I'm gonna be talking about. Today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Let's get going. All right, I'll get to the landing gear in a second, but first I wanna say thanks to my sponsors, Bespoke Post. Now, if you don't know these guys, Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. Every month, they're gonna introduce the members to a cool new product, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, based, of course, on a preference with a quiz that you're gonna fill out at the beginning. It's free to join and you can skip a month anytime. Every box has at least $70 in retail value, but costs only 45 bucks. If you don't like the box they assign to you, feel free to swap it out for one of many other boxes. The box lineup, of course, is also changing every single month. Now this one happens to be, let's see, I think it's labeled on the top. This one is the trail kit. I also have the forge kit, which of course is a knife I'm excited about. And then this last one is the weekender kit. Now you can decide which kind you want. They've got a cool quiz you can use. I'm kind of unboxing out of the camera. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so this, ooh, this is cool. Look at that. Is this what I think it is? Nicely packaged. Oh yeah, that is cool. Check that out. Weekender bag. Heck, I could almost use that with a tool roll and get a set of crescent wrenches in there. That's pretty sweet, but you know I'm a knife guy. I always have a knife in my pocket. I'm also a hunter. So I thought this one was pretty cool. Let's see what this actually looks like. This is called the Forge. And if I can pull it out. Oh yeah, this is cool. I'm excited to see this. Now these guys are buying from small kind of little known businesses and giving you guys a great value, they're also buying American-made products, which is kind of cool. Oh, look at that. That is a sweet blade. I like that. With a sheath as well. I'm gonna use the blade to open. Oh, it's sharp too. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. That'll come in handy at the ranch. Look how nice that looks too. That's pretty cool. Just for the heck of it, let's see how sharp it is. Oh yeah. Not bad at all, hair shaving sharp. Well done, bespoke. All right, last box, let's see what we got here. All right, this is the Essential Backwoods Survival 101. Ooh, I like seeing this. Little Sheffield field box, this looks waterproof. In case the zombie apocalypse happens. <laughs> this is cool. Surviving the great outdoors. I could have some fun reading this to the boys at night. I like that. It's got a commando wire saw. It's got another knife. This has got a gut hook on it too. So if you're field dressing some deer, check it out. Paracord bracelet and also a sheath uh, knife. Very cool. All right, guys, to learn more, I'll put a link in the description. And you know what? Father's Day is coming up. This would be a great gift for dad. Check it out at bespokepost.com. All right, let's start with the obvious, the landing gear. Now, first off, you've seen me use these before. This is a suction cup from Woods Power Grip. And I use these to move glass on the job site. I often have really heavy pieces of glass and I make sure I've got two of these in my job box at all times. This is basically just a vacuum that you pump up. It sucks that glass on and now you've got a handle to move that glass. Now this is a modified version of it, also from Woods Power Grip. Now these guys watched my video where I struggled, my crew struggled with a really janky uh, wheel mounted system to move a heavy sliding glass door that I was installing at one of my jobs recently. These guys reached out and said, hey Matt, we got the tool for you. This is basically a wheel with a suction cup attached so that when you're moving heavy glass, doors and windows, things like that on the job site, you can do it with this. Now you got a pair, you're gonna to wanna to buy two of these bad boys and they will hold up to 400 pounds each. So if you really had a heavy door, you actually might need three or four of these. Most of the stuff I do is under 800, so two would work just fine. Again, same thing, you're gonna drop that glass on there. This is gonna suction cup right on. And now a crew is not breaking their back to get it in the house. 
Very cool from Woods Power Grip. I'll put a link to everything I talk about today in the description, of course. Okay, next up, Tough Block. Now check this out. This is a cool product. This is basically a deck footer that you don't have to dig or pour concrete for. Now in the past, often for low level decks, I've used concrete blocks. They're heavy, they're actually pretty high. These on the other hand are pretty low, which I really like. And just get a flat surface and you're good to go. You're ready to start building. Now you're not gonna build a three-story deck on top of this, but if you're doing a ground level deck, if you're doing like I am at a shed that needs to be movable, that's in the property line. And also, by the way, I need to bring my shed low. So this is gonna work much better than a taller pre-made concrete pier. These are a great option. I think there are like 295 bottles it takes to make this recycled per product. So that's kind of cool. There's a good recycled story there. They're also pretty affordable. I looked online and they seem like they're about 10 to 12 bucks each, something like that. Plus you could ship them. You don't have to worry about lugging your pickup truck out to the lumber yard to get them. That's kind of neat. They also accept a four by four post here, or you could drop a joist into them. I watched a video of actually a low level deck in Austin and they use these for a ground level deck. It would go in lickety split. I think I'm gonna use these for the shed on my house because I need my shed to be really low. I've got a seven foot shed height restriction in my neighborhood. And these guys look like they're only maybe two inches off the ground. And then if I use a, a two by four joist on 16 inch on center, this would work perfect. And then my shed will also meet the movable requirement uh, that I need because I could technically move it off this put it in another location and put these back down. So this is a cool little product. All right guys, so you can learn more about this at buildtough.com. All right, next up, Easy Ground. Now this is from the company that makes Kemper Roof Systems, which if you're not familiar, absolutely bomber flat roof product. That's a two part liquid applied roofing membrane. This is a garage coating, mechanical room coating, basically any floor that you'd want to paint. This is a water-based epoxy floor paint. I saw some videos of some guys applying this and it looks really easy to use. I like how the part B component, which is the hardener, is in a plastic bag in this pail on the top. And the part A, which is actually a gallon's worth, is gonna be leveled right here in the can so that you can pour this part B right into part A, mix it up and get moving. Now, actually I have a cool project uh, going on that I thought I'd try this on in a garage mechanical room. So stay tuned for that, but you can learn more on their website. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, two more products at the desk, and actually I have something out in the field I wanna show you. Now I don't think this is a new product, but this actually solves a problem for me out in the field right now. I put in um, some drains for my dishwasher and for my overflow pan that are not connected to my sewer system. They're actually just plumbed straight to the outside. Now they have a P-trap and I'm gonna fill that P-trap with mineral oil, but I also wanted to ensure that I wasn't getting bugs or insects or any other things coming through that trap. So this is a cool product. It's called Drain Seal from Odie. And it's basically a really fine rubber that will allow full flow through it if you have a drain event. But in the meantime, it's gonna stay shut and you're not gonna be able to get bugs or even air to flow through there. Now, the reason why I mentioned mineral oil is if, if you have a trap that's not constantly getting wet, like a shower or a, you know, a sink, you wanna make sure you're putting not just water in there. And mineral oil is a great choice because it won't uh, go rancid and it won't evaporate like a water would. But for extra protection to make sure bugs aren't getting through there, I really like this idea. I also have seen this fix a problem where uh, a house had some sewer gas smell coming through, and this is kind of like a double seal. Of course, your P-trap's gonna do the main work, but this would do double duty by keeping those sewer gases out. Very cool product. They make this, it looks like in multiple sizes from Odie. Okay, next up, what I would call a spider box. I think these also are portable power distribution systems, but I, over the years, have always called these spider boxes. Now, I've made some of these in the past on jobs, but how nice to be able to just order one of these. And of course, this company will even order it with your logo. Uh, you know, so they called me and said, hey, we wanna send you one as a sample. I said, okay, great. I didn't quite know what I was getting into. They sent it in white, which is the main body color for my logo, and then black, and it was stenciled on and was perfect. And shockingly, these are much more affordable than I, than I expected. They tell me these are running around 500-ish for something like this. And you're gonna get this massive cord, which is gonna plug it in. This is gonna plug in on the outside to your temporary power pole. That's gonna plug in on the side of the box. 
And then look how many outlets we've got in here. It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five 20 amp, uh, no, six 20 amp outlets. Plus you've also got a output. So if you had a, you know, a floor sander or something going, you could also use this. If you're not familiar with this term, what's usually happening is on the outside of the house, you've got a power distribution pole with a meter on it from the city, but you need to get that power on the inside. And it's really hard to do with just standard cords. You don't have very much power, maybe just one or two uh, cords into the house. But this thing, because it's a 50 amp and you're gonna set up your breaker for a 50 amp on the outside, you can distribute tons more. Usually you're gonna put this like in the center of the house. I'll put a link in the description for these guys so you can learn more. All right, guys, that's it for the desk. Let's actually go out to the field where I have a couple cool things to show you. Okay, so this was a little hard to show in the studio. I thought I'd bring it out to the job site. New product from Little Giant. They call it the King Combo. And if you've ever used the Little Giant product, you know that they've got articulation uh, of like their original fold-out, which we commonly refer to as a Little Giant ladder. This, though, looks like a common step ladder, but has this additional ability to go to this dimension, which is what I wanted to show you right here on this attic access, because I've been using this under construction at my house. And man, everyone raves about this ladder. Check this out. Now, instead of just a, what is that? I guess a seven foot step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven foot step, we've actually got a ladder that we can climb to get into the attic. Isn't that cool? I like this. This is a cool ladder from Middle Giant. Next, while we're up here, I'm out of breath from climbing the ladder. <laughs> See my giant opening for this attic access? That is not your standard pull down stair. I've used a lot of, you know, rainbow stairs, let's say, and those are usually like a 30 inch opening. This is a big old opening because I've got a brand new product coming that I've not talked about before that I'm really excited about called Magic Stairs, spelled M-A-J-I-C, Stairs. Very cool product. It's basically a drop down stair that's motorized. I've got a plug up here in the attic for it. It'll plug in here. And when you press a button downstairs, that stair will drop down and articulate out and will turn into a standard 45 degree normal staircase with a regular steps, a handrail going up, and they're gonna provide you with a U-shaped guardrail for the top of the stairs. I've got one coming. I'll be here on the job site in maybe four to six weeks. So in the meantime, check out their website. This is a very cool product. All right, last thing. This is kind of an interesting tool. This is what DeWalt calls a power cleaner. This takes your standard DeWalt 20 volt, 60 uh, volt flex batteries, whatever you've got on the job. It's an interesting price point, only 150 bucks, but it's gotten really mixed reviews if you look online. Some people hate it, some people love it. I've gotten to test it for the last week or so, DeWalt sent it to me. I think it's got a lot of legs. The key is it's not a power washer, right? A power washer is two or 3,000 PSI, and power washers, when people get them, oftentimes they're power washing their house, they're blowing water through your door sills, through your window sills, and it causes all kinds of problems. You basically inject water into your houses. This, on the other hand, it's saying it's 550 PSI. I think the use for this is, hey, I'm cleaning my RV this weekend, and I wanna use the soap, uh, injection on this where you can put some soap in here and bubble the heck soap the heck out of your rv uh, or you're on the go somewhere and you can draw fresh water out without having to connect to a garden hose so if you're cleaning equipment or you know you get off the ranch and your truck's a mess you could easily take a five gallon bucket drop this in and clean all the mud off your truck uh, at the ranch gate before you get onto the highway that's where this thing comes in, in uh, I think, in handy. All right, guys, one last thing that I wanted to add. This just literally came in hot just before we were about to edit this video, so we're throwing this on. This is by a company called Deco, and I heard about this product. They sent me a sample. I think this is hopefully what I'm expecting. This is a company that makes uh, switches that are swappable. That's a tongue twister right there meaning you don't need an electrician if you wanted to add a dimmer. Let's say you had a, um, a light switch in a part of your house that was just a standard on-off switch. 
And then after you moved in, you went, oh, dang, I wish I could, I wish I had a dimmer there or a motion sensor. I'm gonna just jump in. I have no idea how this display works. We're just gonna go ahead and try it. So we pull that. Okay, that's pretty easy. And then I'm assuming you're gonna wanna cut the power before you do this. Check that out. That is super easy. How cool is that? So cut the power to the outlet, if I understand this correctly, to the switch in this case. And now the standard rocker could get a motion sensor, could get uh, any one of these other switches, and they're all basically plug and play. That is cool. Check that out. That's neat. And boom, you're done. Pop the switch or pop that cover plate back on there. That's neat. Uh, let's see what the website is. Deco.com. I like that. I want to try that in a house in the future. That's a really cool product. I think they've got smart switches and Wi-Fi and a bunch of other options. But what I thought was really cool was that you didn't need an electrician. You're not worried about getting electrocuted. Pretty cool. Deco.com. Guys, thanks for joining me for another of my monthly what's new and products in tools. If you have something you think I should know about, I'll put an email address below. We'd love to have you get in touch with us. We found some really interesting stuff. Like I said, Woods Power Grip was a great example. These guys reached out to me after they saw what I was struggling with on a video and said, hey, we've got a solution. So if you've got something you think I should know about, look for that email address below. And if you're not currently a subscriber, guys, we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. And oh, by the way, on my website, if you haven't seen it, buildshownetwork.com, I actually have six new videos every single week from five different contributors. This is a fantastic resource. Link in the description to get on my Friday email so that you can get notified of new videos once a week on buildshownetwork.com. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.